In just two hours, communicable diseases such as HIV and hepatitis B can be detected by this blood diagnostic machine. The brainchild of a team of Cambridge scientists, the Simple Amplification Array, commonly known to its innovators as Samba, is said to be robust, simple and precise. It's really quite simple. The patients come in and the sample is taken and that then it gets tested. Within 90 minutes you get the results and so you can really decide whether their drug is being, uh, the treatment is uh, being effective or whether they have developed resistance, uh, whether they are infected or were not infected. So really you can get the results in 90 minutes of an extremely complicated test. So if you will, the normally the, to do this type of testing uh, is done in a machine the size of a mini and uh, we've reduced it to one at a time the size of a coffee machine that uh, literally anyone can do. Primarily, the test can be done by healthcare workers with minimal training. Lee and her team demonstrated how the reagents and blood samples are loaded into the machine in separate, individually shaped compartments. For instance, this is one of the cartridges, and it needs to be so intuitive that when you open it up and you put it there, there's only one way you can put it. You couldn't put it wrong. And so actually we have simplified the procedure in such a way that I always say anyone who can cook uh, can uh, do it. This piece of technology has made rounds in Malawi, Uganda and other parts where there is a higher prevalence of infectious diseases. The team, however, experienced a few hiccups. The Samba 1 machine, which is the first generation of this machine, for two days it didn't work in Malawi because the temperature in the lab went to 38 degree centigrade. So we ended up having to redesign Samba 2 to widen the temperature stability. Now it can go to 40 degree centigrade. The introduction of the machine brings with it the delivery of accurate results without the need for reagent refrigeration. Thanks to innovative freeze drying that allows the test kit not only to remain stable at room temperature, but also withstand heat up to 55 degrees centigrade.